Hello guys, hope you all are having a fantastic day. Let us begin with our today's video. So, in this video, we are going to explain the TCS joining step by step full process. So, let us begin. Now, the first thing I would like to tell you is that congratulations. Because if you are watching this video, it means that you have already received the offer letter or you have already been selected for at TCS. Okay, the first step is that you will receive an offer letter. The second step is that you will have to go on the next step. You might have received an email from TCS regarding offer letter that your offer letter is released and uh, they might be requesting you to visit the next step portal and accept the offer letter uh, within seven working days. So you just have to go on the next step portal, use your credentials to log in and then you can go on this offer letter tab. If you don't see any of this tab, then don't worry. It, it is not a problem. Just have to go on offer letter tab and then you can click download offer letter. So this is the thing that you have to do. This is very important and trust me guys, you should fill this very, uh, very precisely. Okay. The first thing is that they will ask you location. What would be your location preference? So they will be, there will be three options. Uh, like you have to select uh, top three and uh, there, will, there will be a list of preferences from which you have to select top three. Okay. So it can be either Pune, Bangalore, Mumbai or anything, Kolkata. After selecting the location, you will then have to select your stream. And trust me guys, most of you get confused in this. So this uh, is not 100% guarantee. If you select stream 1 as Java, you will definitely get Java as a stream. Or uh, if you select Unix, uh, C++ or Oracle as stream 2, then you will definitely get second preference. It totally depends on the business requirements. So don't have to worry about choosing the right option here. Okay. So choose three preference locations and then choose three streams. So the themes available are uh, BIPM, .NET, Java, C++, Oracle, Unix, Assurance, Mainframe. So these are some of the streams that are present. You can choose any three of them. Okay. Now let us move forward. After you submit it, here would, there would be an option. I accept and then you can go on it and uh, click on I accept after filling both of this. And uh, then you will go to the next page where they will say you that. Thank you for accepting the offer letter. Okay. Then you can simply download the offer letter. So this is a very easy process. Let us move forward. Now what you can do is you can simply click on track my application tab. And when you click on that, you will see a list of bunch of activities that are uh, added into, into the table. After you uh, accept the offer letter, this tab will be generated. And after accepting the offer letter, you will get a confirmation mail uh, on your registered email ID with TCS. Okay. And uh, after that stream selection and preferred location, you will also get a uh, tab called as ILP eligible. Okay. And uh, after getting the tab, you will have to wait for like one to two days uh, to get this ILP eligible tab activated. Okay. That is the ILP corner. Uh, you can simply look at here that the ILP corner is already been activated and in that ILP corner, there would be an option called as, I will show it here, uh, ILP corner, there is option called as NSR, which is National Skills Registry, which is related to your IT PIN. Now, an IT PIN is a 12 digit number. Uh, you can simply go on the NSR, uh, NSR website and you can uh, register yourself and then you will be getting an NSR e-card. Okay, so that is the same PIN that is IT PIN. So this is the first process and you can track your application status using this table that is track my application. After applying for NSR e-card, your IT pin will be generated within two to three days. Now the next important thing is background check. Let me just add a pointer so it will be easy for you to understand. This is the background check option. Now you can go and click on background check. Before that, I would like to tell you that please, if you have been selected at TCS, please check your emails and spam folders regularly because this is really important to check your email and next step portal every day. Okay. So uh, after clicking on background check, you will be getting this kind of option. So you can click on uh, initiate BGC and fill BGC form. Now this is a very easy process. As soon as your BGC tab gets activated, uh, make sure that you fill the BGC form and initiate the BGC and start uploading and collecting the documents that are required for BGC because uh, you will get a lot of time to modify your documents if they get rejected. And trust me, this is where all the people's, all the people's, all uh, or all the new joiners get stuck. Okay, so make sure that you upload all the documents, get it confirmed, get it approved because uh, at the time of joining, whenever you receive the joining letter, you, you will be tension free. Okay, you don't have to run here and there and get all the documents and then get it approved. This is a very easy process. Now, uh, let us go and have a look at what is the BGC form. Now, these are the basic instructions that you have to look for. Then you can click on basic details. It is very easy. Uh, you have to fill some basic details and then uh, you have to fill your academic details, your percentage, your school, college, etc. And then there at the end, there is a declaration. I cannot show you this because I have already filled the form, but trust me, it is very easy for you to fill and understand. Okay. 
now the next thing is uh, uh, joining letter you will like after uh, filling everything after uh, you accept the offer letter it will hardly take one to two weeks for you to get the joining letter okay and this is uh, this is don't have to worry if it takes more than three weeks because it totally depends on the business requirements so don't worry you will definitely get the offer letter as well as the uh, joining letter sorry so after clicking on the survey link you will get this first page as i will join tcs on the date mentioned in the uh, joining letter okay if you are joining on that particular date then you have to click on yes and then you will have to the survey will end and if you are not joining tcs then don't worry uh, you can click on not joining tcs and then it the link will end the survey will end and the third option is if you want to reschedule and you do not want to join on the date that is mentioned in the joining letter then you can click on no and uh, please uh, let me tell you guys i have made a separate video on rescheduling you can go ahead and watch it i will also mention that in the uh, description box i will give the links in the description box please have a look at it okay and then you you will have to enter uh, the the date on which you want to join okay so for example uh, my joining date is on 15th of march and i want to join on after like april so i can uh, add a date which is in april month okay and then you'll have to get uh, give an important reason or you'll have to upload a document which tells that uh you why do you do not want to join on this particular date there can be medical issues there can be uh, your course is not completed yet or you are currently doing internship at tcs or there are any backlogs or uh, there is any document of unavailability due to covid restrictions or any uh, personal or you are getting married or something like that okay so this person has written that due to financial condition i am unable to pay the fees and that is the reason why i have not got all the documents from my college so this can be also a reason okay let's move forward now after doing this you will uh, you can go and accept the uh, joining letter and then your joining will be confirmed now after that uh, uh, you will get an email regarding face to face id verification with your pan card this is a mandatory step and as i've requested you before please please always check your emails regularly after 2 to 3 hours and go to your next step portal and check your next step portal regularly the, your application status okay this is very important and then after that face to face id verification using your pan card the last step would be the first current in which they will tell you everything about what documents you need, uh, need to upload in bgc what if you have any questions you can ask during that first connect and that first connect is really really important please make sure that you do not miss it any by any hook by hook or crook you have to accept it so at the end i would just like to say that if you want to uh, like change your location or you want to reschedule then i have made an entire playlist the link is in the description below please make sure and watch it and if you have any doubts please ask in the comment section also please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching the entire video have a great day